Hey everybody, today I'm really excited to be able to introduce you to the Player One Astronomy Mars 662M planetary camera. I've got it right here, it's in the box. We are going to crack this baby open and have a look and see what's inside. Have a look at the camera, we'll take a look at the features and do an overview on that. So stick around, we'll get into it. My name is Doug, this is Astro AF. This is the Player One Mars 662M, Player One Astronomy's USB 3.0 monochrome planetary camera. And today we're unboxing it and checking out what makes it such a powerful instrument for planetary and lunar imaging. The Player One Mars 662M mono camera. It has the Sony IMX662 sensor in it. And like my experience with Player One in the past, they're their packaging is just really clean and it's always nice. It's very nice experience to open and see the product as a nice slide out drawer and then our shipping packaging. So this comes with our cables. This one here is an ST4 cable, so we will Get rid of that. These Player One bulb blowers are excellent. I use it all the time. These are fantastic. The tip on these is uh, really quite small, but it forces a really nice, strong stream of air and does a really good job of getting sticky particles off. So I really like this one. It comes with our USB cable which is a USB A to USB B. We've got an Allen wrench. And then the camera itself. It's a small form factor. It's beautiful, the machine work is top notch. One of the nice things about this is that this also comes with a adjustable tilt plate here, which is what this Allen key is for. And then we've got the 1.25 adapter here. You could probably use this as a guide camera. I may try that out and see how it works. And then the IMX662 sensor. And then of course we have the USB port and the SD4 port. All right, let's start out with some specs. So the Mars 662M features Sony's latest IMX662 monochrome sensor, and it has a one 2.8 inch format, and it has a resolution of 1936 by 1100. So it has a, a clean 2.1 megapixels of sharp detailed data. So the pixels are 2.9 microns, which is a great place for high resolution planetary imaging. And it isn't just sensitive, it's Starvis 2 powered, which gives it a peak quantum efficiency of 91%, which is really outstanding low light performance. So the full well capacity is massive for a sensor this side at 54,000 electrons, which means you can push exposures longer and preserve highlight detail without blowing out your image. So one of my favorite features of the Mars 662M is it can record up to 108 frames per second at full resolution. So that's seriously fast. And for planetary imaging and when we're doing SIR format video files, speed is everything. Capturing at high frame rates lets you freeze those fleeting moments of good scene. So it helps us out in being able to stack and reject frames uh, because we're able to capture more frames per second and also you know work our way in through the different atmospheric dispersion uh, and effects of turbulence in the air and things like that that cause the wobbly look in the images so that helps out a lot with that so the mars 662m has zero amp glow so if you're using this for longer exposures 
You won't have any amp glow in your subframes. You won't have any weird gradients or amp artifacts. So it'll be just really awesome for stacking and not having to worry about getting rid of amp glow in your calibration frames. So on the hardware side, the Mars 662M is it's really solid. It's, it's so well built. As I mentioned, it includes a sensor tilt plate, so you can fine tune your field flatness or adjust this over time as needed. It has a 256 megabyte DDR3 buffer, so that can help with smooth data streaming. And it has a USB 3.0 port here for fast stable transfers. And it can also help if you're using a USB 2 port, the DDR3 memory can help buffer that. You also get an ST4 guide port and it has a standard C mounting thread here in case you want to mount it in that way. I tell you, this thing feels so good and just the machine work and the fit and finish are beautiful. So coming up here soon, I'm going to be putting the Mars 662M through its paces in some imaging sessions this next week. It's really contingent upon weather and uh, we've got a full moon right now. So I'm probably going to go out and have a look at what I can do on the moon tonight and be fun to use this camera with its excellent specs and, and see how it goes. Uh, I will have to reconfigure on my scope and it'll take a little bit of time to get that sorted out, but I'm going to work on that today and then we'll see how this goes. So anyway, a really big thank you to Player One Astronomy for this collaboration and uh, stay tuned for more. So I wanted to talk about Player One a little bit. As you know, I have the uh, the Player One Artemis M Pro, which is my primary deep sky object mono imaging camera, and it has the IMX 492 sensor in it, and it has been a fantastic camera. I purchased that camera a year ago, and and have just been loving it ever since. So it was my first mono camera. I made the jump from OSC over to mono at that time. And I, really, I, I've only been using my OSC for specific things like hyperstar configuration and things like that. With the mono setup that I have, it made sense to talk to you about this mono camera. And so I reached out to Player One um, as a matter of fact, I, I had been talking to Player One on some support because I had some some questions about some things on my Artemis M Pro. And if I could say anything, that it's so important to me for the companies that, um, that I spend money on for my astrophotography gear, and I'm sure it is for you too, that after you purchase something, especially a camera or a mount or something like that, where it, it's quite expensive, Having support after the sale is just huge and it makes the value of the money spent even so much more. And with Player One, they are a fantastic company and support and friendly and responsive and I just absolutely enjoy them. And because of that, I asked them if we could collaborate on this camera and they they, they were enthusiastic about it and sent this out to me and asked me to, to take a look at it. There's no rules here. They, they didn't tell me what I could or couldn't say here in my video and I'm gonna review it honestly in the next video. I wanna get this on uh, mounted on the scope and actually do some images and, and learn more about the camera and then share that with you. So I'll be doing that in an upcoming video. That's kind of a disclosure. I, this is a collaboration with myself and Player One Astronomy and I am just elated to have the opportunity to, uh, to try out their gear. I'm already a customer of theirs and this just makes me really happy and I'm happy to be able to share my experience with this Mars 662M planetary camera with you. All right, so the Player One Mars 662M mono planetary camera. I'm really excited to try it out and really impressed with the unboxing and quality of the camera and the packaging and everything that went along with it. So it just kind of exudes the experience and I do enjoy this part of the hobby. <laughs> so. But I hope you enjoyed it as well, and I'll uh, be doing some additional follow-up on this camera 
on the telescope with uh, some of my experiences in using the camera here in a future video. So if you're not already subscribed, go down and hit that subscribe button and the bell and get a notification when that video comes out. And I really appreciate you and thank you very much. My name is Doug and this is Astro AF.